Hello happy people, I'm back with another video and today I have a huge Amazon nail supply haul for you guys. In case you all don't know, I do actually post my um, deals that I find um, from Amazon in my community tab. And so if you all wanna get your hands on these deals right when I see them, um, stay on the lookout for my community tab page. I typically try to post them maybe like on a Monday or a Sunday. So if you all wanna get your hands on these deals as soon as I find them, definitely Definitely stay tuned to my community tab so you all can snag these deals because you know Amazon the prices go up and down so let's go ahead and hop into this so the first item I have here is a nail free diamond you guys I'm so excited about this because I've been wanting one for the longest but honestly I just didn't want to play the price for it I found this on Amazon I think it was like $7.99 so less than $8 for a nail free diamond it came packaged beautifully nice safe and secure it came with this little rag to keep the diamond clean and this here is the diamond. Let me take this out here. Yeah. Let's see if I can get this out. So it came with the diamond and it came with a stand, which I really like. So this is my beautiful diamond, you guys. Oh, she's a beauty. Look at that. I don't know, I love me some blinktivity in my life. So this is shining bright, shining, shining, shining. So let me just wipe her off a little bit here. Yeah, she's a beautiful diamond. She also came with a stand like so. Look how perfect she is. So you guys are gonna be seeing her in a lot more videos. I think I'm gonna be using this as my hand rest as I do my nails, which is great because I'll be able to, you know, see what I'm doing. Let me see. Let me zoom all the way in. So yeah, I guess this is gonna be the view here during my videos, right? So that gives y'all a nice little beautiful crystal to look at as I'm doing my nails. And then the another good thing about it too is it'll keep me in frame when I'm doing my set. So if I know where my Nelfie diamond is, is where I need to place my hand to stay in frame. Because I do typically have an issue with staying in frame. So yeah, y'all, for under $8, this is a great steal. And I did check on Amazon. It is still available for this price. So I'll definitely leave um, that link down in the description box. But yeah, y'all, isn't she pretty? Yeah, it's perfect. Okay. <laughs> The next item I hauled here is an item. This is this was available on Shein, but by the time that I tried to purchase it, um, it was already sold out. So um, I found it on Amazon. It was two dollars more than what it was listed for on Shein. Um, so I got this for like six bucks, and this is the um, nail clipper. The yeah. Um, some nail clippers, and essentially um, it has like the different size. Um, you know things so that you can put your nail in and then clip it to the desired length and what's nice about it is that all the nails will be clipped down to the same length i did have to assemble this but um i just watched a couple videos, but i just watched a couple videos of how to get it together again it was two dollars more than what i saw for on shein but um i was happy to pay that price because it did come with a lot of accessories so it came with um, these cuticle nippers here, which I actually use these to open up my gel pots. It came with three nail files and it came with another um, cuticle pusher. So I wasn't mad at getting the extra accessories with this. So I'm happy to have this in my collection to be able to trim my nail tips down when needed. The next item I got here is some storage containers for my rhinestones. I have been on the look for some nice compact um, containers for my rhinestones so that I can look at them all at a glance and then that they all be in one place and I found these they were only like twelve dollars and fifty cents and yeah it came with two of them along with labels and so each of these containers has 30 pots in it to be able to um, put your rhinestones in and so let me open this up here and I like the fact it comes with like a little bit it comes with like a little handle you open it up this here is the little jars that come in there and I thought these would be perfect for my rhinestones and so the rhinestones that are like this right here that come in these little packages that's what I got these for to be able to just pour them in there and then I can see all of my rhinestones at a glance and then also still keep them separated by size so was really happy to find this um, and again I think I did list this in my community tab I can't remember or not but it will be listed down in the description box so I this from Amazon. I also picked up some more stamping plates. You guys um, know that I just recently discovered stamping. It's absolutely amazing. I've been loving it and having a good time with it. So I found this deal on Amazon for, it was 12 stamping plates total. And I think I only paid $8.50 for it. 
and I actually just checked again and it went down to 833 so the price actually went down on these but it comes with a ton of different stamping plates like I said one two four Eleven, twelve. So yeah, it came with twelve stamping plates because I have two that are um, already in my book that I already use. But just to give you guys an overview, this is what these look like. This one has like nice little leaves and wreaths. It even has like a little mustache in it, a heart, a rose. So that's one of the plates here. The next plate has butterflies on it. Okay, really, really pretty, really cute. This one has like different, you know, random nail art like designs on it. Okay, this one is actually a Christmas themed one. That's cute. So it has different snowflakes. It has um, ornaments on it. A little a house, reindeer, etc. This one here is has like flowers and stars on it. Really pretty. This one is an Easter themed one. I just thought this pack had such a nice variety of plates in it. So you got the bunny ears, happy Easter, nice little Easter themed one. This one has uh, flowers like roses and such. Really pretty, okay. The next one here is, it's kind of like a Tinkerbell kind of themed one with like daisies in it. So that's kind of why I got it. Well, not daisies, but what are these things called where you like blow it and make a wish? I forget what they're called. Dandelions, maybe? But yeah, I thought that was really cute. Cute. But yeah, I thought that was really cute. You see like the little, the little fairy here? I got these. I'm thinking I might want to try to make some Tinkerbell nails. Um, Got this one too. This one just, um, this one I thought was really cool, y'all. It has the YouTube logo on it, okay? <laughs> I was like looking through and I was like, yes, I'm definitely going to use that. So maybe when I hit like, you know, a certain subscriber count, I could do like some YouTube nails or something. When I hit like 10,000 subscribers, but y'all, yes, we are on the way. Okay. Um, I'm thinking maybe I could do like some YouTube nails. I thought that was kind of cool, but yeah, it has like a lot of different, um, you know, but yeah, it has like a lot of different images on there. So I thought this was really cool. All right, and then we have the little cat here. This is actually, I actually have this plate already. I actually used this in my Alice in Wonderland video recently where I did some Cheshire Cat nails. So yeah, I'll like insert a picture here of what that looks like. Um, but yeah, those are the 10. And then the two that I already used, uh, I apologize for the glare, but this is like a dream catcher plate. I used this recently with some boho nails that I created along with this plate right here. So all of these came in this set. All right? Really great deal. Put that's upside down. So all of these came in that set. Yeah. So I thought that was a really great deal for $8.50. Like that was that was a steal when I saw it I snagged it right away. And I did check this is still on sale for that price. Like I said, it actually went down, so that's that. Next, I actually picked up some nail tips. These are just like some regular square nail tips. Um, I got these in particular for my practice hand. Um, I wanna start using my practice hand more. I know I keep saying it, but you know, I still, I think I enjoy doing sets on myself, so that's probably why I haven't used my practice hand yet. But I did get these nail tips. They were on sale. Oops. They were on sale, I think, for $2.99. Oh my gosh. They were on sale for either $2.99 or $3.99, but it is just some natural um, square nail tips here. And I also enjoy using square nail tips as well. So that's kind of the length here. They're not too long. They're kind of like medium size, but I thought they would fit the nail bed of my practice hand perfectly. So I did pick up, um, I think I picked up two packs of these. So yeah, I grabbed these for my practice hand and or just practice nails as well. So you all know I have these like little, you all know I like to practice some of my nail designs. And so um, that's good for like, you know, practicing your nail art as well. I also picked this up. I got this on sale for three dollars and some change. Um, y'all know I'm getting into doing. Um, y'all know I'm getting into doing more nail art on my channel, and so having something like this is really convenient. I recently just did a couple of sets that required me to do a lot of freehand nail art, and so having a palette like this, it's actually a ring, um, was really convenient. So it comes with three items. 
even though the listing said it was supposed to be four, like two of each of these, it only came with one. So this one is the one that I already used. And this is nice because essentially what you do is, as you're working on your nail, I found it was easier to have it on a, a different hand than what I was working on. And essentially you just put it on your hand here and as you're doing like your nail art, you can kind of just tap you know and get the colors you need so I used this in one of my videos and it was really really helpful so I was happy to have it and then it also came with this mixing tool which I thought was pretty cool so yeah I'll hopefully these items are still available at the same price I'm gonna leave them all linked down below I'm gonna show you all an item that I got from Aliexpress so I have not actually made a purchase myself on Aliexpress I had a close friend who was kind enough to help me place this order and it just came in and that's what even prompted this haul to begin with so yeah y'all I finally got myself a flash curing lamp um, that can kind of sit on the desk and it's rechargeable y'all it's from Ally, but I also saw this available on Amazon so I'm gonna leave both of them a link down in the description and so let me show you all what this looks like I was so excited look how beautiful this thing is oh my goodness it's like the absolute cutest okay so this is the plug that it comes with right and this is the lamp i love the small footprint on it i love this gooseneck here right you all know i do a butt ton of gelex uh, nails on my channel and i had been eyeballing a lamp similar to this they have like a lotus one that i saw on Amazon and I think it's also available on Ali too. I'm not really sure why I didn't get it. I, I guess I just wasn't feeling it like that, but I thought this right here fit perfectly. I like the white base. I like the silver handle and it does say nail extension light on it and y'all it's rechargeable. So y'all can literally put the light wherever y'all want it to go. All you gotta do is turn it on and as y'all can see the light turns on. Let me show you guys, don't wanna blind you there, but yeah. And so what you can do is, is so I can have this sitting in the background, have my little lamp, this part come out here in the video, you know, get my full cover tip, apply it on and just hold it right underneath the lamp. So I thought this was really, really amazing. And yeah, I'm super excited to have this and be able to do um, more of my Gelex um, sets with them. Like I said, most of the designs that I do are with full cover tips you know so you know these are full cover tips and I just really love the light so yeah I actually have the perfect place for this to sit at on my desk so I'm super excited to have this and yeah I'll be I'll give you guys an update on how long the charge time is and things like that but I just absolutely love this this little LED light lets you know when it's on press the button it lets you know when it's off and again I love the fact that it's rechargeable so I don't have to deal with any cords and stuff all over my desk I have limited space on my desk so having cords everywhere is kind of inconvenient for me and I just thought this was perfect like you could just put it anywhere you want so yeah y'all also did find it on Amazon and so it was only like a couple bucks more on Amazon so I am going to go ahead and link both of those down in the description box so if y'all want to get y'all hands on this awesome lamp y'all can but I just love how it looks and then even for storage if you guys don't have a lot of space on your desktop you can bend it down and put it inside of a drawer or something like that so yeah I just really I love the look of this and I love like you know the length of the lamp and that you can move it anywhere you want on your desk so yeah y'all this is my new flash curing lamp and I absolutely love it oh and then really quick on the box here I just wanted to show you guys so the timer when you turn the light on and hit the power button it's a 60 second timer on here the charge time is about an hour and a half and fully charged it works for about two hours which is good because when I apply my full cover tips it only takes me about five minutes to do it so that means the charge will last a pretty long time it actually didn't say how many watts it was so I'm not really sure about that yeah it didn't actually say how many watts it is but um, I've seen similar lamps to this before and they look like they work just fine for the flash carrying. And the next item I got here is this Beatles gel polish kit that came with a lot of cool accessories. So let me show you guys what this came with. So, okay, so it came with, okay, it came with rhinestones here. I actually recently listed this in my community tab. It came with these different rhinestones, which are so beautiful. Y'all know I love these some bling. It came with rhinestone glue, you guys. I've been wanting to try Beatles rhinestone glue for quite some time now. So I have this. 
Um, and I really enjoy using the Beatles. Um, yeah, it looks like it's a nice thick consistency. Yeah, I like that. Okay. I really enjoy using the uh, Beatles nail glue. So this came in their gel extension kit. I use this a lot for adhering my rhinestones, for adhering big charms. I actually use it to adhere this charm on my nails. I'm excited to have rhinestone glue from Beatles just to see how it works. Um, this kit also came with some glitters here. Okay, these are really pretty really beautiful glitters it also came with a wax pencil which you know you can never have too many of these so I have another wax pencil here actually this looks just like the wax pencil that I got from Shein right yeah it's the exact same one so <laughs> I guess the they got these from Shein the only thing that's different is the actual wax itself but yeah y'all and then it also came with eight different gel polishes so really quick i'm gonna show you all these polishes it came with a white here absolutely beautiful okay it came with a couple of different nudes so this is nine so that was nine four eight this is nine four nine yeah, that's really pretty it came with nine five zero this is 950. Really beautiful, kind of peachy nude there. It came with this nude, 951, which is a really nice brown, kind of caramel. I wouldn't even say caramel. It's just a really cute, like maybe latte kind of brown. It's really pretty. It's a lovely nude color. It came with 952 which is like kind of more of a gray tone and nude color. Still very beautiful. I like that. And then it came with three glitters. So this is 953. Ooh, look at that. Oh, that's pretty. Did you see? Yeah, look at that. Absolutely beautiful. Yeah, that's really nice. Yeah, I love that. That's a really pretty, it's kind of like a peachy, it's like a peachy glitter that has hollow um, fine specks in it, fine glitters in it. So, and then this is 954. Oh wow, this is like a really pretty, like kind of crystal, like a white, crystal white shimmer kind of color, really pretty. Yeah, I like that. And then the last color we have here is 955. And that is, woo, that's a really pretty gold glitter color here. Look at that, that's really nice. Really beautiful. So yeah, y'all, I thought this kit was an absolute steal. So it came with, like I said, eight gel polishes, rhinestone picker, rhinestone glue, rhinestones, and glitters. This was $11.99, you guys. And I did check, it is still on sale for $11.99. I thought that was a great deal. So if y'all wanna get y'all hands on it, y'all can. But yeah, I think I listed this in my community tab not like a few days ago. And yeah, I thought this was a steal. And then the other steal that I found on Amazon was this Soggy Land kit, y'all. This kit was $6.99. Holy smokes. Let's hop into it and see what is included here. I thought this thing, this thing came with like a primer, gel polishes, builder gel. I mean, it came with so much stuff. So let's take a look and see this kit let's see here uh -huh. okay wow look at oh and it can okay look at all of this stuff this stuff came with a lot of goodies look at this wow that's crazy I'm surprised they fit all this in this little tiny box so y'all this came with it came with a nail brush here so let's see, okay. So this is the nail brush that it came with. Okay, let's see. Oh, it seems nice. It's like a nice firm nail brush. And then I think you just put this on the opposite side and then it becomes like a long actual brush. And then you can use it to do whatever you need to do. So that's pretty cool. So it came with a nail brush, y'all. It came with a Primer and dehydrator. This was the real reason I bought this. Not that I really need another primer and dehydrator, but for $6.99, you can't beat it, okay? So it came with the acid-free primer. 
and then it came with a nail dehydrator. These are both 15 ml bottles, you guys. So these are full size primer. This is a full size dehydrator and primer, okay? It came with that. It also came with this Sauviland um, Clean Builder Gel and it is 0.5 ounces, so it's 15 grams. And I was actually really excited to um, have this. I've been seeing on Biscuit's channel, she actually uses this to apply her bling, and so I'm not mad at trying to give that a go. But then the real reason I got it though was to be able to do some builder gel nails, and so y'all know I'm getting into applying um, my nails in different ways. So I wanna kinda not really get away from full cover tips, but challenge myself to you know, actually build the structure of a nail. And so I'm doing that with like acrylic and poly gel. And I also wanted to give it a try with this builder gel. So I have that. And then the kit also came with a nail file. This is a 100, 180 grit nail file. Okay. And then it came with some nail forms, right? And then it came with a whole LED light, y'all. Like, I can't believe this was only $6.99. Like, that's crazy. Like, so it has the charger, and then it has like the little mini mini lamp here. It has the on off button here on the back. I mean, y'all, this is just a steal. It's kind of ridiculous. And then it also came with, on top of all of that, y'all, it came with four gel polish pens. And so I've actually never used a gel polish pen before. So let's see, and they are seven ml. Oh, wow. Okay, that's pretty cool. It's really cool okay all right so that's the pin right here that's what the brush looks like on it okay it's a nice little fluffy brush and then I guess you just crank it up and then the gel polish will come out I'm not gonna do that because I don't want to waste the gel polish but it did come with four colors so it came with a pink okay it also came with so these are all the colors that it came with so it came with kind of a reddish looking color, which they called Clarent. It came with this blue kind of glitter color, which is called uh, Sky Blue. It came with silvery color, then it came with the pink. So some nice basic colors here. Y'all, so all of this, all of this right here, let me even zoom out some. I can't even believe how good this deal was, how good of a deal this was. This was $6.99 on Amazon. You say, what now? Clear Builder Gel a dehydrator, a primer, a brush, a nail file, four gel pens, a mini LED lamp, and forms, $6.99, crazy deal. This was a deal that I posted on my community tab, and again, you guys, make sure you guys are, are checking out my community tab on a regular basis, because when I find these deals, I will post them. I think the price of this has actually increased now to $20.99, which, I mean, it's not a horrible price for it, right? Because like I said, you do get the primer dehydrator, you get gel pens, and you get a builder gel. So $20.99 isn't bad for that price, but $6.99 is even better, okay? So yeah, that is the Soggy Land kit. I do plan on doing some builder gel nails with this entire kit, so definitely stay tuned for that. I did also pick up some nail art brushes from Soggy Land. I thought these were really cute. One of the biggest reasons I got them is because they kind of match the decor in my nail room. So let me show you all what these are looking like. These brushes are really pretty. Um, so it came with one, two, three, four, five, six brushes, and I believe this was $6.99. The biggest reason I got this one is for this ombre brush here. Yeah, look at that. I don't have any ombre brushes, so I thought this would really be cool. I'm not too good at doing ombre, and so um, I thought this would be really helpful to have to kind of help me out with that. And then the next brush that came in here, it looks like it's just a nice um, just gel brush, okay? So the quality of these feel really nice. They feel nice and firm. So I don't know, this is maybe something I can try to use for like poly gel nails or, or something, but or, oh, oh no, this would be good if I made like a custom gel polish and I just need to apply it or maybe I have uh, gel paints or whatnot or those palettes. This would be good for applying gel polish from there. It also came with a liner brush, which y'all know I've been doing a lot of detailed nail art on my channel. And so having a brush like this to be able to do some fine lines is always needed. So I did pick this up. And then I also got this one here, which is like an angled brush. 
Okay, I'm not exactly sure how this is supposed to be used, but it's an angled brush, so I know I'll find a use for it here. Or maybe for like a sideways French, maybe? I'm not sure, but got that. Then, next one here is a square brush. There's a nice square brush here. Yeah, again, I like the bristles of these brushes. Like, they're really nice, nice and firm. And they are really beautiful looking, okay? The last brush that came here is another uh, liner brush, but this one is a little bit thicker. So this, this brush right here would be good for filling in um, your nail art. So, yeah, this kit came with six brushes, again, and it was $6.99. So let me show you guys here. So these are how the brushes look again. They're really pretty, y'all. And these are the brush heads here. So yeah, I thought this was a really good deal. Okay, and then I also picked up some more nail art brushes from Josh Love. I actually saw Sandra feature these on her channel, but I got this kit here. And y'all, these brushes are absolutely stunning. Holy smokes, y'all. These are really pretty. Oh my gosh. I like the marble detailing on it. So it does have like the brush number, okay? It does have the brush number on each of these. And so I'm gonna go through and just like open all of them up so I can show you them at once. Okay, so these are all of the brushes here. Okay, so I'm gonna show you each each of them one by one really quick. So this is a nice fine detailer brush. Okay. So this is good for like nail, like line art and such on the nail. This here is an angled brush. Um, I'm not really sure what this is used for. Maybe it could be used for ombre or maybe like um, thinning out like a gel polish or a polish on the nail. Uh, this here is another um, brush. I was actually most excited about this. It's like a micro uh, the micro liner brush, um, but for some some reason my brushes my my bristles came bent um, And I recently saw on C's tutorial how to fix that She said she just dips her brushes in hot water when that happens So I'm gonna try that out and hopefully I can still get some use out of this brush It also came with the fan brush, which I think is good for like applying glitters and such to the nail it came with this brush. It's kind of like a square, a squared brush head here, which is really nice. Okay. Um, it came with an acrylic brush, which I thought was amazing. And y'all, the quality of these brushes are really, really nice. So I'm going to be excited to use this for my acrylic application because y'all know I'm getting into acrylic nails. It also came with this really small kind of round headed brush here. Not really sure. This might be good for just applying gel polish to the nails. It came with another liner brush, which is really nice and fine. It came with another rounded brush here, but it's just a little bit wider. And again, this is something, the quality of these brushes feel really, really nice. And then it also came with this brush here, which I think is good for 3D nail art. If you're wanting to like, you know, sculpt out maybe like a acrylic flower or use like um, sculpting gel or whatnot. I think you'd be able to use this kind of brush for it. So I thought this was a great variety pack of nail brushes to get and have. Um, I've been doing a lot of nail art on my channel. So yeah, I definitely wanted to make sure I had this in my collection. So I got these. And the next thing I got was um, these beautiful gel polishes from Gayoi. Gayoi? I'm not really sure how to say that. I've never actually tried this brand before, but I really like the packaging. It's like really cute and really luxe. And it came with six different gel polishes. And I really, the, what made me buy this was the colors of this collection. Like it came with some really unique colors here. And so this is the color 1172. And yeah, look at that. It's like this really nice creamy nude color here. These colors kind of remind me of like Mediterranean kind of earth tone colors. Yeah, look at that green. This is like a really beautiful green color here. Oh, that's stunning. That's a really beautiful green. I like that a lot. And this is 1197. It came with 1198, which is like this nice deep grayish blue almost. 
That's really pretty color. I don't have any colors like this in my collection at all. So I thought this would be really nice to add in. The consistency of them feel really nice and creamy too. So I'm going to be excited to test these out and see how good these are. And then next is the 1149. This looks like a kind of burgundy, deep red color. Yeah, look at that. And yeah, that's really pretty. That's really pretty. So excited to have that in my collection. I also got 1156, which is like this really beautiful burnt orange color. Yeah, look at that color. Oh my gosh. This is really stunning. Okay, really stunning. This is something I'm going to have really fun. I'm going to have a lot of fun playing around with in the fall time. Um, and then the last color that came in this collection here is, oh, this beautiful kind of greenish mustard yellow color here. Look at that. Just really pretty, all unique colors, colors that I don't have in my collection. So yeah, I was happy to pick these up and this was only, like I said, $6.99. So I thought that was a really good deal. I'm gonna do a dedicated review of these polishes here on my channel. So that's nice. And then the very, very, very last thing I picked up, y'all. I know this is a long haul, so thank y'all for sticking with me on it, but I picked up this storage case, okay? Um, this is a case that I got in particular for storing like rhinestones and or glitters and or acrylic mixes in. So let me open this up for you guys. This is like a heavy duty case too, y'all. It comes with like a handle. This is like heavy duty stuff here. I'm not the biggest fan of like how it looks. Um, it does have like purple trimming on the side. I'm not the biggest fan of how it looks, but I do like how compact it is and how much you can store in such a small space. So let me get this open. Okay, so this is what we have here, y'all. It's a, it's a lot that comes with this. So this is what the top looks like. Let me like show you guys that first. So the top, it comes with this charm storage case. Um, I normally get mine from Shein, but I really like the fact that this that, that this case came with it and it came, um, that this came with it. So I can store my charms in here. It also came with some labels and this is for um, the what I'm gonna show you guys here in a second. It came with all of these tools here, which I thought was really cool. So, let's see. so it comes with oh it comes with like little baggies so that's nice so it comes with like little baggies if you need to pot something like glitters and beads or such it came with two of these little trays which I really like these trays for flipping over your rhinestones and having them all face right side up it came with I guess this is like a scraper I'm not really sure what this is but it came with this it came with a funnel, y'all. Now, how easy is this gonna be when you're trying to pot glitters or trying to put rhinestones inside of like those small storage containers? So let me open this up. Yeah, look at this. This is cool, it's like a collapsible funnel. So you open this on up, like so. Look at that, that's pretty cool. So I'll show you all how to fully use this here in a second, but I thought this was like a nifty idea, so it came with a funnel, and then it came with, let's see, okay, so it came with some, I guess like some plastic tweezers here, okay, it came with a bunch of different rhinestone pickers, so these type of rhinestone pickers are pretty cool, so what you do is you will take this plastic wax here, okay, and you will just kind of go like this, you remove the plastic and go like this, and then it'll have wax on here. These are all wax pickers. And what's cool about these, they have like the long side to them, is that like you can line up all of your rhinestones and pick them up and then place them on the nail perfect in a perfect line. So these are gonna be pretty cool to try out and test out, but yeah, it came with these. And then it also came with this bigger tray, which was really nice. And this is something you can use, again, to flip over rhinestones. And then when you're done with them, it has like this cool little funnel where everything can go right out. And maybe, no, okay, I was gonna say, maybe that's what this was for. I'm not really sure what this is for, but it came with it and I'm not complaining. So that's what all came at the top half of this big case, okay? And then, and what's this here? Okay, yeah, I'm not really sure what this is. Oh, I think it's a cleaning cloth. Okay, that's just the cleaning cloth here, okay? So that's pretty cool. You can store whatever else you need to store up there. And then 
that's just the top half of it y'all this is the bottom half look at all of this storage space holy smokes okay so this comes with on the listing it said 148 and when I counted all of these it's actually 30 at the top and then 30 at the bottom and so I'm assuming the extra 28 is this right here but yeah y'all look at all of this storage okay so this is the size of the containers and this is actually the size of the previous storage container that I showed you guys again this is something that could be good for glitters it can be good for beads rhinestones and what I plan to use this for is making some custom acrylic mixes um, I want to start playing around with mixing my acrylics and, and making certain glitters and certain colors uh, y'all know I'm just I'm loving nail art these days and so I want to try to start making my own stuff and I figure as I make my own custom acrylics I can just store them all in here so that's just the top layer y'all remove this right and there's 30 more containers here at the bottom and these containers are actually different they're a lot longer than the other one so again y'all it comes with two different sizes which I thought was really nice and so for those who have big glitter collections um, big rhinestone collections charm collections etc beads those who do crafts things like that I mean the the options are endless with this kit here but it came with a tall one and it came with a short one so the all the ones on the bottom are the tall ones and it's a screw off lid here and then all the ones at the top are the shorter ones so I thought this was an amazing steal I paid $25.99 for this. I thought that was an amazing steal because for the other two containers I showed, I paid $12.59 for it. And it also came with $60, but it didn't come with all these extra accessories. So imagine if I had about two of those. No, those came with $30. So this is the other storage container that I bought. So I still like the small footprint of this and the price for it wasn't bad. I paid $12.59 for it, but that's like half of this, right? And so imagine if I bought, you know, two of those. So if I had about two of these, that would have cost me like 24 bucks and I'd have four cases of that and that'd equal 120. But instead with this one, I get 60 of those, the tall ones. I get 60 of the short ones and it came with all of these extra accessories here. So I thought that was an absolute steal, you guys. So yeah, I thought this was a really great deal for all of the items that it came with. Like big steal. All right, you guys. So this is everything that I got in my recent Amazon nail supply haul. I know this was a long video, but I hope that you all enjoyed. It had a ton of goodies in here and some amazing steals. Um, and just to remind you guys, I do post all of the deals that I find um, as I find them on my um, community tab. I don't always have an opportunity to post my hauls right away. So, so I like to try to post those deals in the community tab so you guys can get your hands on them um, when they are available. And so yeah, I hope you all are able to snag you some of these goodies. Um, I'm trying to think what was my favorite item. I loved all the items that I got to be honest with you. Um, I'm excited to have new storage. I'm excited to have my Nelfie diamond. Oh, never mind. The most exciting item that I got here is actually this lamp. I cannot wait to start using this. I'm super excited to have this and have the ease of being able to use, you know, the ease of being able to apply my tips and um, not have to worry about cords. But I also really love my little Nelfie diamond and all the storage items that I got. So let me know what's your favorite item that I hauled um, in this video. Um, I do also have tutorials on these nail sets these are some galaxy nails that I literally just did this week so um, I will leave the tutorial for that and then these are some um, another gel X kit that I reviewed and let me know if you all were able to get your hands on some of these deals as well I'd love to hear about it down in the comments below I hope you all enjoyed this video I do upload every Tuesday Thursday and Saturday Thursdays in particular are my nail therapy Thursday premieres where I tune in live with you all as you watch me do my nails and yeah if you all like what you saw here definitely stick around join the happy family I'd love to have you and as always you guys Leave some love in the comments down below, and I'll see you in my next video. I hope you all have a wonderful, awesome, spectacular day. Bye!